So let's talk about information now, because a lot of, of what management is going to use in order to make these decisions is going to be the information. However, we need to understand that there's a difference between relevant information and irrelevant information. So what is relevant information? Well, relevant information is information that, one, is directly related to the decision being made. Obviously, it has to connect to whatever the decision is being made. You don't want to use information that has nothing to do with whatever you're trying to decide upon. Two, this is information that will leads to something that will happen into the in, in the future. This is going to have repercussions of the future, not necessarily anything else, because we don't care about the past. The past is the past. We're not going to take past information and use it for future uh, decision making. And finally, it's information that differs between alternatives. If the two options that we're trying to make a decision upon uh, have the same number or same type of information, then it's irrelevant because they're the same for both. So let's look at an example of this real quick. Let's say that we're trying to look at an apartment or two apartments, and we're going to decide where we're going to uh, get the, the, the lease for. Here are some factors. We've got location, bedroom and bath, square footage, year built, pet friendly, uh, monthly rent. These are all factors that could potentially go into whether you're going to, to purchase this or rent this apartment. So let's look at location. Apartment A and apartment B both are located in, let's say, Atlanta, Georgia. Well, if they're both located in the same place, then they're not going to be different among the, the options. So this would be irrelevant. Now, the beds and the baths. Well, apartment A has is a two-bedroom, two-bath, whereas apartment B is a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. So there is a difference, and that is something that's potentially relevant to the decision that we're making, and maybe you want that extra half of a bath. So yeah, that would be relevant. Square footage. Apartment A is 1230 square feet, whereas apartment B is 1270 square feet. Absolutely, that's relevant because it's different among options and it's relevant to the decision. And it's nothing that's going to do, it's, it's something that's going to be dealt with in the, in the future. Is we're going to be living here in the future. So that would be uh, relevant. Years built. Both of them were built in 2018. So that wouldn't be relevant because they both have the same years that they're built, same age. Pet friendly. Apartment A is pet friendly, but they do, they do it for a fee. Whereas apartment B, no pets allowed. Now, this one's tricky because obviously it depends on the situation. This could be relevant or irrelevant. If you're not a pet owner, then this is irrelevant because it doesn't mean anything. If you are a pet owner, then it is relevant. So it really depends on your situation. So again, this could be relevant if you're a pet owner, not relevant if you're not a pet owner. And lastly, month, monthly rent. Monthly rent, obviously they're different. This is something that you're going to be paying in the future. So naturally, this would be irrelevant information.